Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. What's going on everybody? Aaron Hilliard here, Mushroom Wonderland. And today we are in the beautiful Pacific Northwest and it is July, it is the dead of summertime. And we actually just went through a really crazy heat wave here in Washington State. Last weekend it was over 110 degrees for one day and it was above 95 for like four days. So I'm curious if there's any mushrooms growing out here in the forest in the summertime. This time of year is notoriously boring for mushroom pickers. Not a lot growing in these woods. Or is there? I don't know, let's go find out. Mushroom Wonderland, thanks for subscribing. Let's see what's growing in the summertime, come on. I'll tell you what, in this forest, in the autumn, I would have found hundreds of mushrooms by now. I've been walking for like 20 minutes. Not a lot of moisture, so. If you think that summer is a bad time to go looking for mushrooms, probably right. But we haven't given up hope yet. Here's the trusty trail dog gunner. He loves to find mushrooms and then step on them and pee on them. He's not a good mushroom hunting dog, but he's my buddy, my best friend. You know what I mean? My trail dog, my road dog, he's my dog. So most mushrooms really like water, and that's the one thing that's really kind of lacking out here in the forest this time of year is the moisture for the mushrooms to fruit. So the mycelium is somewhat sitting dormant right now. So if we look right here, these are young red-belted conchs, or Fomitopsis monsiae, formerly known as Fomitopsis pinnacola. These are really young specimens. They're these little white blobs on the end of logs that you'll see. Um, and these are actually known to be medicinal. So you can take these off and cook some tea with them. They've got this red band around them. This is a really pretty specimen. And they can be used medicinally. You can make tea out of them, like a lot of the other Ganodermas, like the Rishi mushroom that you could see on another video of mine. But, uh, for today, I'm gonna leave these behind. These are about the most common mushrooms that you're gonna find in the forest of the Pacific Northwest. They come off the log fairly simply. You throw that in some tea, make yourself a medicinal little mixture. If you look close, you can see little pores, little tiny pores on the bottom. This is a fairly young one, and that is indicative of a polypore mushroom. So the red-belted conch, foamy topsis pinnacola, was what it was formerly known as, now known as Fomitopsis monsiae. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Put it in the comments if I am, that's fine. Here is our second mushroom find of the day. And it feels pretty dry, but if you look, this is a little polypore. There's all kinds of little pores right in there. I don't know if you can really see those pores well, we've got a little polypore and it's got a friend right over here this is a little bit of an interesting plant this is known as foxglove grows around here in the summertime and this is a poisonous plant this thing would kill you if you ate enough of it so although it's beautiful just like mushrooms you can touch it don't ingest it, probably not a good idea. And so here I think we found what we were really looking for. I wanted to make sure that these were coming out here in July. So if we look right down here, my mushroom hunting dog is gonna try to spot this before we get a chance to. What do we have here? We're gonna pluck this up so you can see. And would you look at that? Cantharellus formosus, golden Pacific chanterelle. Look at these beautiful little buttons. They're kind of sherbet colored. So these are growing out here in the forest a week after 100 plus degree temperatures. A lot of people don't know that these chanterelles can be found here in the Pacific Northwest in the summer. And if you look underneath, you can see how the the veins on it really are unlike gills, they're more like ridges, and they're called veined mushrooms. And these two are growing, 
right next to each other. I like to call these butter sponges. This is a summer chanterelle, and uh, there is a variety of chanterelle called Cantharellus rosicanus that grows coastally, and it's kind of more of a reddish pink color. This is just your typical golden chanterelle. This patch grows in the autumn as well, and in the autumn, uh, this patch produces a lot of uh, a lot of beautiful mushrooms. So we found these two little guys, and then just within a couple feet, kind of hiding, not super obvious. But here you go, some more of the golden chanterelles. Some little buttons, you know. These are these are what summer chanterelles are like. They don't really get huge. They stay compact and dry. And uh, I call them butter sponges. They uh, soak up butter real nice. Oh, here we got another little pinner. A little baby pin growing. So yeah, we found some golden chanterelles. Man, they have that smell of chanterelles. If you haven't smelled a chanterelle since last fall, ah, it's an inviting smell. It's cool. I love the summer and everything, but this smells like autumn. I don't know. It smells like comfort to me. So there's a few of the mushrooms that you're going to find out in the forest of the Pacific Northwest here in July. Dead heat of summer. Um, actually, next month is probably going to be the slowest month. It seems like we have this little crop of chanterelles in July. And then they go dormant again until late September and October when they really start popping up. So we found the red belted conch, we found some small orange polypores, and we found some Cantharellus formosus, some Pacific golden chanterelles. They are a mycorrhizal mushroom. They grow with the conifer trees here in the forest. We're looking at fir trees and spruce trees. And right where I'm standing, there's a bunch of alder trees. These are not one of the trees that chanterelles would be growing with because they lose their leaves. They're a deciduous hardwood tree. What you're looking for are these big evergreen coniferous trees. So when you're looking for these mushrooms, make sure you're in a conifer forest. Make sure that it's uh, about the middle of July, like right now is the perfect time. And I dare you to come out in August and find some young buttons. Just doesn't seem to happen. They really, there's a little crop of butter sponges in July, and then we gotta wait until September. But if you find enough, it might be able to hold you over. But it sure is nice to find some wild edible mushrooms. Up, make some food. Do your little butter sponges, sponging up some butter. Oh man, if you haven't tasted chanterelles in a little while, Telling you, those butter sponges, they're firm, they soak up the butter super good. Little baby golden chanterelles in July. Nothing beats that on top of a steak. Hoping to go, uh, hoping I'm gonna find some more here in the next couple weeks. They're just starting to pop up, but uh, this complemented my little steak nicely, so. There's no pick shaming going on here on Mushroom Wonderland. If you only find a handful of chanterelles, take them home, cook them up. They were meant for you. God gave them to you, Mother Nature gave them to you, whatever you want to call it, and they're delicious, and uh, I won't tell anybody. Thanks for watching Mushroom Wonderland. Please hit the subscribe button so that we can keep uh, making these videos. All right, thanks. Bye.